we're going to, over the next half hour or so, show you the different components so you have an idea about the kinds of questions that you will be asked to answer in the IELTS exam test. Are you ready? Let's begin then. Welcome to the IELTS component overview. The first component we're going to have a look at is the listening. It's important to note that the IELTS listening as a whole is progressive. That means that each of the parts that you're going to take will be increasingly difficult. Let's have a look at section one. This is an example of a past IELTS listening paper. In this particular case, you have given some notes on a social program and they're asking you to fill out the missing information. Please remember that you will listen only once. Most of the information is always given in a chronological order. For each new section, as you can see here, you will have an example given. So you have a better feel of what to do for each exercise. You're given a small amount of time to prepare in this time, you should quickly scan each page for the information that you have to fill out. In this particular case, you would quickly look at visit places, cost, note, time, reserve seat, and quickly look for organized groups, sign name, and advance. We're going to look much more at different ways of mastering the listening component later on. The objective here is simply for you to get a quick overview of the eyes listening. So the first part of section one is to fill out with this information, take relevant notes and fill in with the missing information. Questions five to 10 of the first 10 questions, we're still in section one, is an expansion on the first part. Here, you're given a table. Quickly have a look at the instructions. It says write no more than three words and or a number for each answer. This part is about weekend trips. You have place, date, number of seats and optional extra. And you can see that the questions five to 10 are spread out in the table. So you would be listening for first a date, the optional extra, the place, optional extra again, and then for further information to fill in the blanks in nine and 10. Section 2 covers the question 11 to 20. In this particular case, questions 11 to 13, we must complete the sentences below. The same instructions as we've seen before, in that you should write no more than three words and or a number for each answer. If we focus in on that, you will see that we quickly have the headline saying Riverside Industrial Village, and it is a listening passage about industry and a particular place. Once again, the information is to be expected in a chronological order, although this is not always the case. Questions 14 to 20, the second part of section two, is frequently a diagram or a map. Here, in fact, they're testing your ability to quickly get an overview of different kinds of information. 